First up right now at 6, back in court again. The man who allegedly hit a teenager on a bike went before a judge today. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Stephanie Simone. 16-year-old Liam Shields continues to fight for his life in the hospital. And Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Agalel is live outside of Hartford Superior Court with more on what happened inside court today. Aya. Stephanie and Mark, the judge increased bond for Alex Rivera today. He's also facing a new charge, assault in the first degree. All of this as Liam Shields continues to recover from very serious injuries in the hospital. The attorney representing the Shields family says Liam Shields' condition is not getting better. It is not improved. It has actually gone the other way. The 16-year-old Avon High School sophomore was riding his bike at the Rails to Trails crosswalk on Arch Road on October 4th when a car struck him. Shields has suffered multiple brain bleeds and could have a spinal injury. Police say 30-year-old Alex Rivera was behind the wheel and drove with Shields on the roof of his car for more than four miles, ultimately pushing him off and driving away. I know the parent's biggest concern is that the injuries that this young man has sustained could have been reduced. Uh, some of them may have altogether not been realized had this young man not been ejected from the top of the roof. Rivera faces a number of charges, including evading responsibility, risk of injury to a child, driving without a license, and now a new charge, assault in the first degree. The circumstances are very, very troubling to the court. The judge also increased Rivera's bond from $100,000 to $500,000. Attorney Gerald Klein is representing Rivera. The state has a right to do that, but whether it was necessary or not, time will tell. And Attorney Klein tells me that he does expect Rivera's family to be able to post that bond. Now, in the meantime, a GoFundMe page has been set up for Liam Shields. It's raised $75,000. We have a link to it on our WFSB app. Live in Hartford tonight, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Aya, thank you. Within the past.